In this video, I'm gonna share with you what kind of job growth actuaries are experiencing. We will break down who actuaries tend to work for, the past 20 years of job growth that actuaries have experienced, and at the end of the video, we will go over the five metro areas that have the greatest number of job opportunities for actuaries. Coming up. Hey everybody, Stephen Hack here, and this is Career Watch, where we cover job statistics, salary statistics, and general career information to help you make good decisions. If you end up enjoying this video, you can support us by subscribing. Actuaries analyze the financial costs of risk and uncertainty. They use mathematics, statistics, and financial theory to assess the risk of potential events, and they help businesses and clients develop policies that minimize the cost of that risk. Actuaries work is essential to the insurance industry. Actuaries can work for a wide variety of organizations. The vast majority, 71%, work for the finance and insurance business. 15% work for the professional services, 6% work for the management of companies, only 4% work for the government, and only about 1% of actuaries are self-employed. I would have thought more actuaries are self-employed, but apparently not. Let's get into the national job statistics. In the year 1999, there were 12,560 actuary jobs. By the year 2018, this number had risen to about 20,760 jobs. So over this 20 year time span, the number of actuary jobs has risen a little over 8,000 jobs or about 75% increase. The job gains recently have been pretty bad though. From the year 1999 to 2012, actuary jobs rose almost 9,000 jobs to 21,340 jobs in 2012. Since then, actuary jobs dropped and then started rising again. Even in 2018, there aren't quite as many jobs as there were in 2012. Despite the past six years of limited job growth for actuaries, the government is very optimistic about the future of employment for actuaries. The government is estimating a 20% growth in jobs for actuaries from 2018 to 2028. This comes out to a gain of 5,000 jobs over the next 10 years, which is very good for actuaries. To put that into context, the average occupation is, is expected to rise only about 5% over the next 10 years. So those are the national job numbers for actuaries. Another important consideration is where are all the jobs? For example, there's only about 20,000 jobs for actuaries nationwide. This isn't like nursing where there's millions of jobs. You can live in any metro area, any state that you want. There's jobs everywhere. With actuaries, this isn't the case. There's certain metro areas that have lots of jobs and certain metro areas that have no jobs at all. So here's a map showing where the jobs are by state. As you can see, there are no jobs in Alaska, Hawaii, Louisiana, Nevada, Oklahoma, and a handful of other states. All of the white areas in this map have pretty much no jobs. I have compiled a list of the five metro areas that have the greatest number of opportunities for actuaries. Here they are. The metro area with the fifth greatest number of job opportunities for actuaries is the Los Angeles, California metro area. There's 740 jobs, the cost of living is relatively high, and the local Los Angeles wage is about $3,000 below the national average. The metro area with the fourth greatest number of job opportunities is the Boston, Massachusetts metro area. There's a little over 1,000 jobs, the cost of living is relatively high, and the local Boston pay is about $1,500 below the national average. The metro area with the third greatest number of job opportunities for actuaries is the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania metro area. There's over 1,000 jobs. The cost of living is much lower than Boston and LA, and the local pay is $10,730 over the national average. The metro area with the second greatest number of job opportunities for actuaries is the Chicago, Illinois metro area. There's a little over 1,200 jobs. The cost of living is above Philly, but below Boston, and the local pay is unfortunately almost $12,000 below the national average. The metro area with the greatest number of job opportunities is the New York City metro area. It has 2,000 jobs for actuaries, which is 10% of all actuary jobs. The cost of living is pretty high, but the local New York pay is $33,450 over the national. Are you interested in becoming an actuary? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.